gentlemen, this is Bill Cosby. And this is a story about Christmas, you see, and about a miserable, miserly man named Ebenezer Scrooge. Now, Scrooge had a problem, a problem with happiness and with giving, which is what Christmas is all about, with the presents and the children and the pudding. Beautiful, ah, you see. We open as Scrooge approaches his office on Christmas Eve. <laughs> giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's grand. Just holding your hand. Oh, hello, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, take it easy. What a lunatic. Oh, I hate Christmas. Are you kidding? When I was a kid, I had it rough. On our Christmas tree, we had no tinsel. We had to wait for Grandpa to sneeze. Cratchit, my miserable assistant, what have you been doing all day? Yeah, counting coin. Of course, definitely counting coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for that, he wins an Oscar. But me, I get no respect. No respect at all. Oh, no. Not him again. Oh, ho, ho, whoa. Hey, it's your favorite nephew, Wayne Newton, Uncle in the Freezer. That's Ebenezer. Yeah, that's what I said. Violent sneezer. No, Ebenezer. Yeah, right. Hey, listen, babe. I'm having a swinging Christmas Eve bash at the Flamingo Hilton tonight, and you just gotta be there. I mean, everybody's asking me, where's your Uncle Old Geezer? So what do you say, Uncle Remus? Will you come? Absolutely. Hey, that's wonderful. I'll see you there. Whoa! Santa, don't you walk so fast. Whoa, a dog is here. Oh, my nephew. He's no prize. Are you kidding? On our family tree, he's the sap. Crutch it! Ow! Ow! Uh oh! Yeah! Crutch it! You dropped my money! Yeah, definitely 276 coins. Uh oh! Main man Vern, V E R N. Ah! Oh, who is it now? Hi, how's it going? I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, Nick? Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, B. Uh, we're here selling uh, jelly donuts and moosehead beers. And with all proceeds, go and help out the poor and the needy. Uh, yeah, and I'm poor and he's needy, eh? Take off. Speaking yeah. of needy, I think I need a crawler, eh? Don't make me laugh. Get out of here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 7 o'clock. Time to go. Quitting time. Hit the road. Yeah, definitely 30 minutes to Wapner. And so, with the business day at an end, Cratchit goes home to join his loving family while Scrooge travels through streets of happy shoppers who are filled with the Christmas spirit. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Homer, wouldn't this BB gun be a wonderful present for Bart? Oh, Marge, what are you trying to do, kill me? I know, let's just give him a lovely nuclear warhead. Oh, bah, humbug, are you kidding? Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy! Tiffany! Uh, Piggy, Tiffany's is a little out of my price range. Hmm, and I thought I dated pigs. That does it! Hey, oh, 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 hey, look out! Take it easy! I don't eat bacon! I'm a vegetarian! Are you kidding? Oh, this is rough. I'm being attacked by a canned ham! After Scrooge escaped the ravenous pig, he arrived at the miserable place he called home. North Hollywood, he said. Locking himself up in his lonely room, Scrooge sits down to enjoy a tasty bowl of jello pudding. Then, Scrooge suddenly heard the sounds of chains rattling outside of his door. Scrooge! Who is it? Who's there? <laughs> in life, I was your partner, Marley. Bob! Marley. Wow. I suddenly had this enormous urge to smoke ganja. Oh, Marley. You're confused. And you're dead. What are you doing here? Tonight, you will be visited by three ghosts. Louis, Alex, and Latka. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Three spirits. Uh, that's it. Who will show you the error of your ways and the magic of Christmas. Remember, Scrooge, no one's future is written. The future is what you make of it, so make it a good one. Ah, oh, that was good. I think I need a nap. And with that, the man was gone. Not that he wasn't gone to begin with. So Scrooge fell asleep, and when the clock struck one, the first spirit arrived. 
Oh, give me a break! I'm going positively mental, like I could possibly be happier to be here on such a festive occasion, I must say. Oh, look! It's a human unicorn! I've come to show you the Christmases of your past. I mean, I suppose that'd be pleasant, you know? After all, I imagine that underneath that miserly exterior, you're a pretty decent guy, much like Pat Sajak if he had bulging eyes, you know? Here, take my hand, and we're off! Wow! We're here already! I suppose we could have been here faster. No possible way, you know. Oh look! It's my mama! You know, she never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. Still, a lovely woman. Very quiet. She never spoke of a whisper. Spags! Someone's at the door and they're trying to kill me! Who are you? Hi, my name is Droopy. I'm a friend of Ebenezer's. Ebenezer doesn't have any friends! He's fat and he's stupid! Now go in, you poop! Oh boy. Hey! Mama! Take it easy! Take it easy! Are you kidding? How sad. I suppose that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Okay, fine. Let's have a change of scenery, shall we? Hey! Wait a minute! Look at this! It's my old boss Fuzzy Rick's Christmas party! Who oh, would a bash! And could he drink? Are you kidding? I mean, he was a workaholic! You'd mention work, and he'd get drunk! Isn't this the best party ever? Tonight's Christmas Eve, third time this week! <laughs> oh my god! Where the hell's marching? Oh, Mr. Dice Clay! Merry Christmas! Would you like to have a pig in the blanket? Are you kidding? I had one last night! Oh! What a swell party! Hey, Donald, how about a Christmas carol? Okay, Mickey! My swell, please! You better watch out, you better get dry, you better get bowed, I'll tell you why. Such a crazy toy to talk. Ow! Oh, 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 look! A duck! <laughs> why don't you watch where you go, you big boo cow? Hey, this is a great party, isn't it, Paul? Oh, yeah, John, it's really fab. Hey, did you see they had a singing duck, George? Yeah, Paul, I also saw the big bald guy step on his foot. Did you catch that, Ringo? Oh, yes, I did, George, but I've always thought that guy was a bit of a stooge. <laughs> and Scrooge, my God, for your Christmas gift? A case of champagne with bubbles. Bubbles, say hello to Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, thanks, Mr. Fizzywig. You're the greatest. Merry Christmas. Oh, give me a break. I mean, just look at that hug. I think it's safe to say you had Christmas spirit at that point, you know. And it's never too late to get it back, I must say. And with that, Scrooge woke up and found himself back in his own bed. <laughs> then the clock struck two. And the ghost of Christmas present arrived. Nice lady! Oh, the falling Lemuel! Hoyle! Oh, oh, not with the breaking of the china. Maybe I'll... Oh, there it goes again. Maybe I'll fix it. Maybe no one will notice. So nice Scrooge person, I'm the ghost of Christmas present and our first stop this evening will be the home of Bob Cratchit, who you're not so nice to. Hi, loading! We're just in time for the sitting of the eating with the Christmas dinner. Yeah, of course, definitely Christmas dinner. Very small turkey. Looks more like a bald rat. Yeah, very bald rat. Oh, it's a wonder we can afford a turkey at all with that miserable salary Scrooge pays you. Yeah, definitely a miser. Very miserly. Yeah. Oh, hello, tiny Tim. I'm your baby, gotta love me! Oh, yeah, very loud, very painful, serious injury list. Yeah, here's a drumstick, honey. Not the mama, not the mama, not the mama! Feed my belly! Oh, but it is a Merry Christmas, isn't it, Bob? Even though we don't have a tree, or presents, or ceiling, or any pants. God bless us, everyone! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry yeah. Christmas, honey. <laughs> Pass me over a piece of the rat, Bob. I don't want one with a lot of hair on it. So we are grateful for the people don't have and you who have with the money but you don't have appreciation for the flamel frying laven oh, I tell you I have no idea what he just said but it really got to me I mean flamel frying laven it kind of hits you right here you know I gotta tell you these spirits are starting to get to me 
They're a little too crazy, a little too nuts. I hope the next one's a little quiet, more subdued, you know? And then the windows flew open, <laughs> and the ghosts of Christmas future arrived. <laughs> Cloaked, frightening, an ominous apparition, <laughs> he glided into the room till he hovered over Scrooge's bed. <laughs> he raised his ghastly gloved hand, trembling man, <laughs> and pointed it at Scrooge, who shook in horror, and the clouds closing in behind him, and the lightning was striking, and the spirit from under his black hood suddenly Whoa. began to speak. Hi, Scrooge. How you doing? Oh, wonderful. It's a lab animal. I am the fiend of the future, the terror of tomorrow, the demon of the day after, and I'm also a rabbit. <laughs> Scrooge, I gotta tell you, you're a big idiot. Hey, take it easy. Who are you, Bugs' evil twin? No, my name is Roger, and Scrooge, you just don't get it. Christmas isn't about money, it's not about presents, it's not even about turkey. <laughs> Christmas is about sharing and letting people know you care about them. And it's about giving the most precious gift of all, the gift of love. And you better start soon or look what could happen. Hi, I gotta tell you, the guy was a Meshuggah bastard when he was alive, and he's a bigger Meshuggah bastard now that he's gone. I never liked him. Let me tell you, I'm so glad that guy's gone. He was a pain in my tukas from the very beginning. Your tukas? Are you kidding me? With the rent he charged me, I would have been better off living underwater. Ah, uh, let's face it. That guy was a bastard. Let's go get a bagel. <laughs> hey, talk about a bad guy. And I thought nobody liked me. <laughs> and that leads us to our final destination. The graveyard. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. What's that? Yeah! <laughs> oh boy, I hate places like this. Don't you? Hey, it's a gravestone. That's rough. Are you kidding? And what's that name? Heaven knows I... Scrooge. No, spirit. I don't want to die. I'm too young to go. Please, give me another chance. I'll do anything. I'll even hang out with that Christmas present guy. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I'm in my bedroom. I'm in my bed. Alone. Oh, that's rough. But I'm alive. Hey, you kids with the funny clothes. How's it going, miser dude? I'm Bill S. Preston, Esquire. And I'm Ted Theodore Logan. Oh, you're all right. You're okay. Hey, you know that turkey in the butcher shop window? The one bigger than Danny DeVito? Yeah? Oh, you're very smart, kids. Very smart. Now go buy it for me. Here's a 20. Have a 50. Get a real haircut. And Merry Christmas! Bill, my friend? Yes, Ted? Didn't that old dude used to be the most egregious and bogus misers? Yes, Ted, but he seems to have developed loads of most non-heinous Christmas spirit. Excellent! <laughs> And so, Scrooge took to the streets, spreading holiday cheer and large amounts of money wherever he went. He was an evil miser just yesterday. He's still overweight, but now he's okay. Yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, you're the best caroler I've ever heard. Here, take a hundred. Take two, they're small. And Merry Christmas. I could hardly believe it when I heard the news today that Scrooge had finally gone and changed his ways. Huh, and you, you're unbelievable. Here, buy a condo, get a Winnebago, here's my checkbook, whatever you want. Aren't you glad that you're here? Now you've got Christmas cheese. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and you? Are you kidding? You're a legend. Here, move into my house. Don't worry about me. I'll sleep on the lawn. Oh, I tell you. It's a prize! Slowly, lonely road! Whew. That was bluesy. That was real bluesy. Oh, that was rough. Are you kidding? You need help. You're no prize. But here, take a few bills. Get some singing lessons. And so Scrooge had finally learned how to give and how to love and appreciate his fellow man. Beautiful. Isn't that refreshing? It's like Coca-Cola, you see. 
Well, that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. We wish you and your family a wonderful holiday season. And we would just like to say... Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Well, I love Christmas! Yeah, definitely goodbye. Hey, see you in Vegas, everybody. Happy Easter. Hello. Cheesy Easter. I thought this was Christmas. Cheesy it is. Hey, buy us beers, eh? Yeah. We hope all the children out there have a wonderful Christmas. Except my son, Bart. He gets me so mad. Merry Christmas, Ooh. And a Happy New Year, too. Wait a minute. Where am I? Okay, I suppose I wish everyone a pretty festive holiday, I must say. Uh, okay, doke. Hey, we see my stuffing. Scrooge is trying to kill me. Happy holidays, everybody. I'll see you all at the New Year's Eve party. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Have an unbelievable Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Have a happy New Year, too. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas from John. Oh, George. Let me go. <laughs> oh, I hope we can do it again next year. Again? To do over again with the taping of the thing? Oh, no. Happy Hanukkah. Now get to bed. Merry Christmas from all of us here in Toontown. <laughs> Have, Have a, a most triumphant new year. Hey, yeah. Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Thank you. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. And this is Bill Corso and Mark Slaughter. Chuck Duran and Jess Harnell, and we just like to say, God bless us, everyone. everyone.